So this is the first bioinformatics lab. It's called Genes and Genomes. So you're just going to do a few simple web searches on different places to figure out, just get an idea of things you can do it. And we started doing a bit of NCBI. So we go to the NCBI web project and look, look for find for ORFs. You can do this ORF finder, which actually changed it to, to a new version over here. We will update this later. And then you will have a find a sequence that you can find here on the bottom of the slide and put it in and run it through this. Uh, you will do a thing here, you use Andreas for doing the same thing. You do cross uh, search among many different databases. And here you search bacterial opposite and uh, answer the questions. And finally, you will, or not finally, but you will also do search of PubMed. So you can, for instance, search for molecular dynamics of PubMed. So you go to PubMed. Or you can search the here. You can search for um, bioinformatics. And if you do that, you see you find 204,999. And if you find that combined with my name, you found in total 86 papers. And you see if I take away bioinformatics, you found 337 papers. Well, that's not all me. You can see there's an Elohim A and an Elohim M. So if you want to find only me, you do it like that. Find 120 papers. If you find my father, you search for that. Find 32 papers. Uh, so that's a few tests you should do. Uh, and you find then you will go on to look at Uniprot as discussed in the introduction of the lab today. And you look at the other databases here for new nucleotide databases. So you will answer the questions that should you already got if you watched the video for the lecture today or today about this topic. And you will find with what is KEG and describe what that is and uh, what OMIM stands for, etc., etc., and so on, and gene ontology. So here, it's also important to give you and the important information where how to submit it. So what you should do here and submit the result. You should write it in a, in a document file, make a PDF of it, and send it to the person that is noted here with the email address that's done here. In this case is John, it might change later. But you see here he has an address called john.lamb.su at analyse.ulk.se. So the, this is an email address that will be used for checking that your replies do not contain any copied information. So you're not allowed to copy from your friend or your neighbor or anything from the web. You have to write the answers in your own words. And this is true for every assignment. So this is very important. If, that's, if it doesn't full pass the test, it will be immediately returned to you. And if it's repeated, we will report you to the central board of the university.